Megyn Kelly criticized Vice President Kamala Harris for repeating her hopes for an opportunity economy by tapping into the ambitions of voters without fully articulating her plans for how to make that happen. The problem of her speaking continues. I guess she hasn't quite gotten the message that she's not good at this, and we know it, the journalist claimed on the Monday, October 14th, episode of the Megyn Kelly Show podcast. Her voters know it, because her numbers are going down with independents who previously had shown an open mind toward her, she continued. So what does she do? More talking. Kelly said that during a recent podcast appearance, Harris continued the inane messaging that we have seen so many times over and over and over, before emphasizing that her words are not a specific policy, but just some amorphous goal that she's using to try to make herself sound like Barack Obama, but failing. Earlier this month, Kelly also slammed the VP's appearance on Alex Cooper's Call Her Daddy podcast, calling it the presidential equivalent of a visit to the Amsterdam Red Light District or the 1970s Times Square back alleys. They all need to shower and we're all feeling grosser for having heard about or witnessed it in the first place, she ranted on a recent podcast installment. You played with fire and you got burned. And you failed at an important moment in presidential history. As OK previously reported, Cooper shared her reasons for inviting the presidential candidate onto her show, despite the fact it doesn't usually focus on politics. I talk about topics like mental health, relationships, s, sexuality, trauma. Overall, my focus is women and the day-to-day -day issues that we face, she said at the time. At the end of the day, I couldn't see a world in which one of the main conversations of this election is women and I'm not a part of it. I'm so aware I have a very mixed audience when it comes to politics, so please hear me when I say my goal today is not to change your political affiliation, she added. Cooper further clarified she'd reached out to former President Donald Trump to be on the show, as well, and said if he wants to have a meaningful and in-depth conversation about women's rights in this country, then he is welcome on Call Her Daddy anytime.